Hello guys and welcome to Blackburn Rovers Z's and today it is the first game of the season Blackburn Rovers versus QPR What am I thinking of today? Well, not gonna lie as in my preview uh, a few videos ago uh, I have no expectations really going into this game uh, We really can't take anything happening in pre-season too seriously It's uh, and What we've seen in pre-season is pretty good um, but uh, Everything changes when it becomes into a, a an actual competitive match. I know pre-season, it's still a competitive environment, but it's not the championship, though, is it? Let's be realistic. And uh, first game back at Ewood under uh, young Dahl Thomason. Um, first time he's going to see fans in the stadium. Uh, let's just hope we have, make a good reception for him and um, hope the boys perform well. Uh, what are my thoughts on today's game? Uh, good test. Both clubs are thinking a very, very similar situation. New manager, you know, coming back off a disappointing end to the season uh, and trying to hit the ground running straight away. They're going to be optimistic to try and beat us because, you know, we've lost a few players, not made a few signings. If any fans are there, fans are not any research. And, uh, yeah, same with them. They, they've, uh, you know, new fresh ideas and um, we're hoping to be, be able to beat them because they're in a similar position to us. And, you know, both teams, well, all teams in the Championship will be confident on making a good start. This is always the start of the season, you know. Aspirations are, like, clean. You're all starting at the same position. And, uh, yeah, let's hope, let's hope we can pip the uh, pip the team at the top. Burnley, you know, them, them uh, those dingles off the top of the table. And hopefully we can, you know, keep them uh, below us for the rest of the season. Doubt yeah, it's going to happen, but you never know. You never know. The Championship... It, there's, there's work, strange things have happened, yeah? Look at Huddersfield last year, for example, yeah? No one predicted them to be in the playoff final, never mind, um, you know, in the playoff, never mind the playoff final. But anyway, thoughts on the game. Hopefully it'll be a good one. Uh, going down, going down with a friend, and then, um, yeah, maybe see a few of the Mafia lot there if you are uh, going to the game. And let's start heading down now, I guess. Long trip. Wales all the way. Well, not too long of a trip, but all the way from Wales to Blackburn. Let's go. We have been the better side, it's been quite a damp, wet even, well, afternoon. And uh, Lewis Trousers put one in the top bins, to be fair. 
Uh, and we're on the track again now. It's broken down. Um, come on, Matt, man. So, yeah. Um, GPR have been, I'd say they've just been quicker to the ball. Uh, but, you know, out of nowhere we've had a few chances in a few corners and then we just put it in the top bins. Hopefully that's the catalyst now to drive for the rest of the uh, first half. For the first 30 minutes are really dire. And both parties are fair, but if there's a better side, it was keeping yard and Tim the crossbar and so on. So yeah, so to carry on. Half time, Black and Rovers 1, QPR 0. It's been an interesting half. Nothing spectacular. Literally, for the first 30 minutes, it was a lot of passing around the back, getting into midfield at the final third, losing the ball. And then QPR seemed to have a good foothold into the game without scoring or creating too many chances other than hit the crossbar. Um, but other than that, yeah, the game was pretty poor, to be fair. And we weren't really getting into it until Travis out of nowhere scored from a. Without the success of the corners, Travis put in the top bins to be fair, it was a cracking goal with the curl on it, especially from when I was sat, it was a cracking goal, but um, yeah, uh, never managed to get the line up in because I was rushing around trying to get him on the final, uh, just to get here on time, and she sat down and the players walked down the tunnel, so the line up was Thomas Kaminsky in goal, um, Callum uh, Britton here right back in his debut with Ayala, Wharton and Pickering at the back, back four interestingly. In the midfield three of uh, Travis Buckley and Jack Vale. And up front we had a front three of Brayford Diaz, Sam Gallagher and Ryan Edgin. So those three seem to transition quite well. I want to say off, straight off the bat, uh, Sam Gallagher's off on the right. Uh, to be fair, the front three, we, we haven't been able to find them very too well because they've had to drop deep to try and receive the ball. And they've been able to stop quite easily. Unless Jack Bell has not been quite strong enough at the minute. We need to get running off one goal. We had one chance of Ben Briggs in the three. And uh, didn't quite think what the golf could have slid out, but slid in and put the ball back up. Yeah, overall game, mixed. Well, we win winning 1 0, but at the other day, result wise, not performance wise, not all, not all best performances so far. And I think QPR performance really has been a slightly better side, but we've got the goal, that's the main goal of that matters. Hopefully, uh, we can come out with something half a bit better and uh, maybe score one or two more goals. We've got some good to see that, that's the main thing. Uh, they hit the crossbar 10 to 15 minutes into the game, and uh, they look good to be fair, or reasonably good. So fingers crossed. Uh, Buckley doesn't get sent off. He was, uh, I thought the referee was going to pull out and get second yellow card when he, when he pulled one of the players down after being booked previously early on. When it was a yellow, the first one was definitely yellow. He took the player out clean out. But, um, but he pulled the down, so you idiot. And uh, part of me was thinking he was going to come off because. One more, that's it. One more mistake he makes, that he's off. So, it would surprise me if uh, Dale Thompson brings him off now or early in the second half. He'll be one who will probably come off. And maybe a Jack comes on. And think, you know, hopefully uh, we can we can do something. But looking at it now, we you can see the lack of options going up front. We've got the likes of Harry Dolan and what that was. That transition into the final third, but the, the three front three, they're not on the ball enough. The defence is playing quite high, so the players have to drop. We just need to, you know, transition those three, those three players to move around and uh, pull those defence apart, make spaces, because ultimately we're not switching across the plate fast enough. From uh, Callum Britton all the way over to Harry Pickering, we're not attacking quick enough. Walter's making some great passes from uh, Yundale. Thomas is really liking it, JTT. But while Calabrita gets the ball down, maybe we could have the wet service. He's not getting out into his feet quick enough. We're coming back again. We're cycling the ball. We need to tackle their back, uh, back four, or whatever, the other defenders. The strikers in the front three need to really try to move around and pull that defensive bar, create space, and hopefully get a run in on goal. But as it stands, long ball's not really working with the front three clearing it up. Uh, once we get it up to our front three, we lose it. Um, so let's we'll see, let's we'll see what, what, what comes out second half. Yeah, one nil up, can't be
76 minutes played. Uh, very much better second half from the boys, to be fair. Uh, plenty of chances. Uh, the QPR have been very, very quiet. Uh, they've just had a bit of spell of possession, 76 minutes in. Uh, but honestly, QPR was just making a sub now. Stones come on. And look, it's looked all right. You know, he's not had to do too much to defend. But uh, Callum Griffin's looking at all sorts of players that we need at the right back. You know, he's got the end product. He looks good balls, good runs, good strength. You know, I think he's been a great, great signing so far. There's only one game in, so he's got plenty of rest of to see. But uh, all good, better, much better second half for Blackburn Rovers. And uh, all we need is that second or third goal just to, to kill the game off. But yeah, let's see what happens. the day after and uh, it was a great 1-0 win for Blackburn Rovers at the end of the game uh, what was there to talk about well second half so much better better overall quicker on the ball quicker off the ball <coughs> desire great you know just, just a really good performance in the second half QPR I think really had any chances they had one chance I think in the 70th minute and then realistically it was towards the end of the game where you know, pushing for a goal to try and snatch a draw or maybe even a win. But ultimately, we, it was a very dominant performance on Blackburn Rovers and really, like, a really impressive display. Um, how did everyone do? Uh, man of the match was Travis. What a goal. Like, what a goal that was. Um, like, the midfield were, were bossed. They bossed it in midfield. Um, the front three were quiet, like, you know, like I said previously. Just, just not, need to get that fluidity into the side, and I'm sure young Dale Thomason will sort that out. And uh, well, we hope he can. Uh, that's what he's there for ultimately. But as a striker, and you know, and he, and in his interview, uh, he did say um, like there was things to improve on, which of course there definitely were, especially in the first half. It was really not the best in the first half, but um, yeah, great win. Uh, you know. Uh, can't, can't fault the like, wins a win. Uh, ben Braidson, Diaz, goal offside. Look, I, uh, from where I was sat, I couldn't tell. Uh, it was annoying because, you know, you want Diaz to score. Uh, you know, just that chilly hype. But uh, it wasn't to be. But, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's all the all the front three play really well today. Great, great pressing. Gallagher towards the end, sprinting back. Uh, killed him off actually to be fair he had to sit down for a bit of a break so you know but the, the desire in this team and the effort in this team can't be questioned and uh, you know uh, it was it was a great display Callum Britton speaking of which Callum Britton uh, at the uh, for his debut did play really well like don't miss Randy Amber at all I might eat my word saying that but uh, nah but he played immense today great defending and going forward he was superb as well and you know it, can't for can't ask for more. To be fair, Kamiski had a quiet game. He made one awful mistake. Thankfully, QPR couldn't capitalise on it. Um, yeah, I, I had my heart in my mouth through that one. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's really it for the for the news. Uh, hopefully, you uh, enjoyed the vlog. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah.